Jazz Nürburgring Northern Loop. My name is Hans Joachim Stuck, BMW Factory Driver, and we are on the way with the legendary BMW M3 GTR doing the practice session for the 24-hour race. Leaving the pits here, and now we go on the shortcut on the Gold Free Circuit, warming up the car, warming up the tires, and then go out and try to do a good time plan. Going down to the entrance of the Mercedes Arena, a lot of slow cars in front of us, but not in a hurry because we have to warm up the engine, we have to warm up the fresh tires, get everything ready. Almost spun the guy in front of us with a mini cooper. Up to third gear. Fourth gear shortly. Hard braking, get the brakes warm. This is the connection, the short loop of the Grand Prix circuit. It's very important to find as little traffic as possible to get a clear lap. Because any car you have to pass costs you very other seconds. Going down to the Katzenbach Bogen. Fifth gear. And now we're almost ready. We have to make another shortcut. Go back to the start and finish line straight. Turn right here. Go down in first gear, get it ready and now full acceleration. Speed is possible. Second gear. Third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. Now going down. Very difficult to find the breaking point because the track comes down a little bit. Go down second gear, turning in. Clip the apex. Easy on the gas. Tires are not quite warm yet. On the gas, acceleration. Hopefully, we can pass the guy before the corner. Yes. Late on the brakes with the ABS, perfect possible to brake deep into the corner, no locking wheels. Acceleration over the curbs, whoops, little over steer, full on the throttle, third gear, fourth gear, on the brake, second gear. Now it's important, stay exactly on this black sort of tarmac there, most of grip there. Third gear, into the Hudson Buff ball, both left wheels over the curbs. Throttle. As you see on the up shifting, you can stay fully on the throttle with the tension gearbox. We call it quick shift. Ah, can we pass the guy for a chicane? Yes, that's cool. And the other one? Third gear? Oh yes, he's seen me. And go driving closely. And now, last time to check the seat point of it. Second gear, now we go to the famous northern loop. Close to the wall. Down into first gear in the entrance of Hudson Park. And that's quite one of the places where you nearly have to be brave. Fourth gear corner, fifth gear almost flat, not quite to the size of a warrior. Then here many, many bumps stay a little bit off the right side of the track. The first corner is the most important here. If the first one is right, second, third, track, it just flows perfectly. Hard over the curves. Left hander. Pass the guy on the inside. Okay, over the cross, and now it's important to take all the speed you have down to the Flugplatz area. It's a place where the car really takes off all four wheels of the ground. Up into fifth gear here, little jump. Oops. Okay, turning in, full on the throttle, hold the steering wheel. Same weight is for both corners. And now, up to almost sixth gear. Right here now. You're a fast spin curve, 265 kilometers. And you have to the corner in sixth gear. Just a little bit, turning in. Another acceleration, and then straight up to the brakes. Down to third gear, high up there, perfect. Late apex. Okay, a second of relaxation, and now down to the foxhole. Fourth gear. Left hand arising, fifth gear. Full speed, sixth gear. Down, now comes a big compression. Tough for the car, tough for suspension, and most the drivers, they explain what the breakfast was. Ah, can't pass the guy from the other force, that's a pity. That's barely over time, down to second gear. Ah, now he's seen me, and he has no chance. Acceleration, the M3 GTR, 500 horsepower. 
fourth gear. Fifth gear. Metz display comes up now. Back to fourth gear, left hander. We are very happy on the brakes. Third gear, climbing. And down to Cullen Hart. Very late apex. Acceleration. Third gear. Now comes a very bad compression again. You can really experience it. Here you see even the camera clips. And now a triple right hander downhill. Fourth gear. You have to be very brave there. Flat, flat, flat. Then harder the brakes to clear side and more on the slowest possible track. Even down in first gear. Apex, hard acceleration. Second gear, little over steer. Third gear, down to a right side bridge. Fourth gear. Very hard braking. Turning. Use all the bridge, all the width of the bridge. To the left. Up to X wheeling. And now full speed acceleration. Fourth gear. Next half to left hander is Nicky Lauda Memorial Day corner. Pass the Audi on the left. Down to back there. You already are too late on the brake here. Just made it. Turning in. And now up the hill. You could at least need a thousand horsepower. One kilometer, one kilometer flat up the hill. Triple left hander. Fifth gear. Steep up here. Next left hander is just flat. Using all the road. If it's very steep up with the car, it accelerates to more than 250 kilometers. Left hand quickly down to fourth gear, turning in. Left of the gas. Use all the road. Left of the right hand. Now coming to the close tire corner. Down to second gear. With the late apex. And up to the carousel. The first part of the whole track for the car. Very bumpy, first gear. Stay in the steep part. Full acceleration, second gear. Third gear. Fourth gear. The next left hander is flat, absolutely flat. Ah, the road is just enough. And third gear. Up to hold up. That is part of the track. And from here now, that's the part of the track that separates the boys from the girls. Downhill. Fourth gear onto Wipperman. Very fast right hander. Left hander. Now next right hander. Completely over the curb. Flip the curb. Lift compression. Third gear. Turning in. And then going down to Eschbach and Corinthian. Very wide. Go to the apex. Here's where most spectators are watching the track. Into the Brunchen corner. Be careful here on the outside. Don't go too hard over the curve. Next one, nice corner. Very slow one. Very slippery in the way. Late apex. And on the fourth gear. Third gear. Fourth gear. Down to Flamstar. You have to break before the bump. Right here. Break. Lift off. Break again. And now, double right hander. Same radius. And now from here, absolutely flat. Shortly before the jump into the fifth gear, down the hill. Stay on the gas, stay on the gas, no lifting. Right, left. Up to Schreiber trunks, almost 250 here. Late braking, into the corner. Third gear. Little oversteer. Now into the Schreiber trunks, another little carousel. And acceleration. Oh, oversteer, oversteer. Third gear. Oh, a very important one. Oh, traffic, traffic. Ah, that was for some time. And now, fourth gear. Onto the straightaway. Stay on the swap, stay on the swap. Use all the roads. Okay, onto the long straightaway. Almost a mile of straightaway. Hopefully no other car in front of us that blocks the following Antonio Stupid. Ah, maybe we have a car in front of us. Good for slip swimming. Going up six gear. 250. 260. Ah, we got some slip swimming. 270, 275, still in the slipstream, and shortly before, put out, down on Tony's open, stay on the gas, no lifting into the compression, stay on, top speed, stay on, now we have got very hard braking for the last chicane, down to second gear, over the curves, acceleration, 
third gear. Back to start and finish. And now, what will the clock show? Was it a good lap or no? Let's wait a second. And... Wow! 8.19.49. New record on the track. That was a cool one. Ah, oh, that's what we like. Thanks to a great car. And back to the pits. So, I hope you enjoyed the lap with me. And if you ever try it again, I can just tell you, you never lose respect of this famous and most difficult track in the world.